Okay, let's talk about this shit. Um, first of all, I will. I will apologize for my language. I will try to bleep it out if I manage to find everything. Um, if not, then I'm sorry. Okay, today I retweeted about someone. One person DM me. You so lovely. You so okay. Thank you. You know, someone DM me about their story of. Wait, GPS. Someone tweeted me about their his navigation software. シートベルトを必ず閉めましょう。シートベルトを必ず閉めましょう。シートベルトを必ず閉めましょう。シートベルトを必ず閉めましょう。シートベルトを必ず閉めましょう。シートベルトを必ず閉めましょう。シートベル
But you don't know that. You did not know that when you were six. You don't know these things. So how can these kids tell their parents, Ma, hari tu pakcik ada buat, you know, uh, taught me a new game. It's called this, you know, hold my dick until a, a white fountain comes out. Because the uncle tells you, if you want more stuff, don't tell anyone about this secret game of ours. What do you care? What you care about is Hot Wheels and Barbie and Play-Doh. You're not going to jeopardize that luxury to tell people about that abuse. Because one, you didn't even know it was an abuse. Two, you won't give up that luxury, man. Come on. You get whatever you want at that age. And your parents won't let you get anything. You won't cut off that lifeline. No one would. So, and then there are like a bunch of people lah who says Apa masalah dia orang tak repot menalah ni? Dah kena tu repot je lah Okay, here's the thing Kau <sighs> ingat senang ke sial nak repot menalah ni? But, yeah, aside from that anger <laughs> First of all, you wouldn't know it was abuse You know, at that age So kalau nak repot macam right immediately after it happened Boleh But you have to know first that it's abuse lah But at that age, you wouldn't know Secondly, if you did tell your parents about it, there will be some parents who say macam, Ui takkan lah, Pak Long, whoever buat macam tu. Dia Tok Haji, Tok Haji. Dia Pak Haji kot. You know, dia Ustaz kot, or dia whoever nice person that person was. He doesn't look nice, or if he's not nice, then people will believe that shit. But most of the, these predators, they have to look nice. They have to look approachable in order for them to get what they want. So, your parents will be defensive about the uncle. Or even if the mother right? Kalau mak korang tahu pun What can your mother do? Confront that uncle? But you know, that's the progress First of all, the victim has to tell someone Let me lay it out for you Before you get confused And before I get confused Okay, these are the reasons why Some victims cannot Or don't have the courage to come forward Reason number one He or she was just too young To understand that it was abuse Because no one taught them It was not in school It was not in sex education Okay, sex education Tujuannya ialah bukan untuk mengajar budak-budak buat sex Tujuannya ialah untuk Memberitahu budak-budak ni Kalau benda jadi Korang boleh report dekat orang-orang ni Apa kena buat Blah-blah, whatever Yeah, it's not just like Telling you how to penetrate into a vagina Blah You can learn that from porn Even for porn is fake I think I'm getting lost Okay, so first They were too young to understand Second Even if they did tell someone The mother, the father, whatever The parents would be in denial Dia pak haji kot takkan nak macam tu Like I said You have to be approachable In order to do all these Explicit things Like Mandarin Not the fruit The bad guy in Iron Man He looks approachable as hell He looks dapper as hell People won't expect he's the Mandarin He's you know He's nice He's trying to do good to the world Okay so that's Reason number two Reason number three you done this. Oh, sh 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 sh. When these kids tell the parents and the parents like feel like okay, they will. The parents will end up confronting the, the perpetrator instead. And I don't know, macam gaduh mulut ah. No, guys, aku nak siap aku buat itu kan aku. And sometimes it would end there. But you know, in order for it to get to stage three, which is confronting the predator, it's not easy because from stage one to stage two, it might take years. Just to get the courage First to understand that it was wrong And it was abuse And it was harassment Two Until they realise that That is actually wrong The courage to tell their parents about it We'll take another one Three, four, five, six, seven, eight Ten years You know, we never know From stage two to stage three Which is confronting a predator Either it has been, you know Cerita tu dah terlalu lama For them to even confront Sebab benda jadi like ten years ago Or If they do confront the predator Dia akan gaduh mulut lah So tu anak aku lagi aku bunuh kau lah whatever All the threats And they remain threats And this predator Will remain free Unless the Parents or The victim Decides to Report police Which is stage 4 And Between stage 1 and stage 4 As I've said earlier It takes years To get the courage to Actually report police So if you think that it's easy to do this shit If you ever get abused in the future Do it Go straight to police Thank god you know how to deal with this thing At whatever age that you get victimized If you get victimized lah If you don't Then f*** you It's really hard And these are not my stories These are other people's stories Some men are gonna rogol what? By their own families yeah. This one story where his cousin raped raped um, her sister and his own sister dia rogol dia sendiri bro and mak dia macam 
Dia in denial gila Mak dia gelak Just brush it off Kau rasa macam mana Kononnya lah Victim tu tahu All these stages Mak dia sendiri In denial Kau rasa macam mana Dia nak bagi tahu polis Dia nak bagi tahu orang Abang dia sendiri buat tau oh. Like I said It's going to take years But she realised that It was wrong It was abuse It was it was painful Definitely Because it was fucking rape I should be screaming Because it doesn't help With the Explanation But Those are the reasons why it's very, very, very tough for these victims to come forward, go to the police, report, and for the police to take action.